Okay, now what you do is <coughs> it's added, but it's not joined. So what you do is select this and click on join. Give your Windows admin password. If everything is okay it will join yeah there you go close after this what I showed you was you need to go through the basic test you can go for the basic test yep it's okay the test is good now what you do is go to advanced setting leave as it is go to groups you can retrieve your groups leave it as with the star only and click on retrieve groups this will bring all the groups now you see uh, other groups are not available so for that what you can do is you can go to your active directory and on your active directory you should have those groups so i'll just create those groups here administration users and computers now here you can create your custom groups like you can go to your domain and you can say new groups so you can add the first group let's say this is ice admin Okay. I just delete this under users. I just add new group. New group. Let's add the first one. Ice. Employ. Employees. Let's say. Th that's a group. Add another one, new group, ice, sales, employees, another one, ice, contractors, ice admins admin and so on you can add go on adding these groups and what you can do is you can add users to this group you can say new user and you can add user to each of this group and you do it this way you have to say like this one is I'll say sales one last name is user and the login name is sales user one there's a login name sales user one at the rate cc academy.com next let me create a password for this user now the user is created here what you do is you add this user to this group how you do it is you can right click on this and you can say add to a group and you give the exact name of the group what is the exact name of group ice dash sales dash employees you type the name here ice dash capital s sales dash capital e and this is added to that particular group so if you go to this group and you check who are the members it's added you okay similarly what you can do is you can add some more users to each group sales is done contractor user
contractor tractor user one that's the use login name add to a group and the group name is ice dash is this name okay click on okay fine next you add another user new user this you can put in employee so you can say um, the employee one user and here you can say employee user one you guys get this next create some password for this user click on to a group and the group name is eyes dash what's the name employees okay now these groups I can see on ice if you click on do you see now they are added what you do is you you mark all these groups because we want to take all these groups and use them so one is this one I get built in guest built in users domain admin domain computer domain controller guest user enterprise not not required this one you can select groups what you need okay and click on okay similarly you can take attributes by going to attributes select attribute from directory now for this you need to you can use any username available on ice let's say like we have employee <coughs> user one this account this username is available on active directory when you say retrieve attribute it will bring all the attributes <coughs> this is this it brings all the attribute that's that's your name right employee user one at ccacademy.com just now we created this right so you select all these details what I'm going to, going to select okay and click on okay so all these are your attributes what do you so everything we are retrieving from active directory okay now whatever details we have got these details wait I'll show you let it save yeah these details you can get under
system settings check this is Yeah, you can get it here. You can go to policies, dictionaries. Under dictionaries, you can go to your Active Directory one. Do you see? CN display distinguished name, given name. Where you had seen this before? These these are extra attributes what we have fetched from. AD and you can see all these where you over stores active directory attributes see whatever we retrieved from active directory those can be seen under your dictionary Okay, we can use these further later on for creating conditions and all those things. Okay, now next thing what I told you was about the authentication, wherein what we try to do is we try to create a new sequence. So by default it will be like now if you if you go and edit this one and you say that you select and you say you check the username and password. Internal endpoints. Here you get MAC addresses. Internal users. Here you get username. Guest user is only for guest. Okay. So basically, finally you get Active Directory one. If you select Active Active Directory one, everything will be checked in Active Directory. What if you want to check something in internal database and external database? Like check in Active Directory. If you don't get it in Active Directory, check it in. internal database or if you don't get it in internal database check it in guest users how do you do this multiple stores if you have to check multiple stores how do you do this for that you have to create you have to go to administration let me just save this for that you have to go to administration identity management and identity source sequences and here you can say all identity stores this is the name okay this is this contains microsoft active directory and and internal users also so you and submit now you go and change your rule authentic sorry authentication rule and say for mac addresses for map basically mac addresses you check in username and password for wireless or wi wired or wireless dot one x you check in internal users but now you check in exactly no in the all identity all identity stores refers to refers to what active directory and internal user database both same okay next what we had done is we create go to policy results and you create authorization profiles okay now <coughs> let's create one sample uh, profile uh, let's
let's say employees permission access accept downloadable acl as permit all and vlan i will give as 172 okay uh, let's keep reauthenticate timer as to 1000 and okay and then you create a policy go to policy authorization policy and you set up some condition here click on this arrow mark and say insert new rule above give some name to your rule employee dot one x external okay any if it's any user but the condition is that this username is in active directory external group and is a member of which one which group ice employee group then what do you do employee if nothing matches permit x okay and in this case what we do is here is your network admission device switch 6 first let's test the connection test triple a group radius yep radius pairing is proper now what do you do is go to interface there's no configuration here okay let's set it up for dot one x port number 21 so Shut down this port and there you go. You show running interface. This is your configuration. Okay, by default, this port goes to VLAN 50. But because our client will connect here, the port will dynamically move to VLAN 172 because the policy says assign VLAN 172. Okay, so. Let's do one thing. Let's go to the client. when we are connected to the client okay and uh, here is your client adapter okay so what we do now is what we do now is no shut this interface first 21 no okay and go to the client Employee user one 
and you get you get connected finally so you are connected here and there is a result show authentication session or interface Good. And if you go to your client, ten dot one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you go and check authentication reports on your ICE, employee one was authenticated and he was given permission. Check here. Um, this was done on twenty one of fine. Okay, and the method was good. Now, what I want next? See for for the same user. First of all, VLAN tag was pushed. And secondly, one ACL was pushed. Okay, and plus your session timeout of one one thousand seconds was pushed. So these things were uh, be basically these were the were pushed in result in the permission. Okay, now this is happening why? Because this is a get uh, this is internal employee who knows that I have to run dot one x. Okay, so. When uh, uh, when this happens, if what he push is uh, e frames, so with the help of e frames, the port comes to know. Okay, it has to go through eight hundred two dot one x authentication, and then it proceeds as usual. Okay, now <coughs> what we are going to do next is uh, we are going to do web based authentication. So dot we have done dot one x, we have done uh, map also. What we are going to do next is web based. authentication 